I dumped my load of um, waste waste shavings or whatever out of the chicken chicken coop. What I'm gonna go do now is get some. I'm gonna go go get some wood shavings that we got from Chip Drop. And I'm gonna make sure we got a nice uh, carbon bed over there for the compost. pretty good about putting in um, vegetable waste and stuff like that eggshells um, cut grass and things like that but we haven't had um, the wood the, the chopped up mulch wood to get our um, compost to actually start cooking and getting hot the um, the adding of the wood should fix this problem and we should be able to get the get the center of this pile once I get it going the center of this pile should be well over 100 degrees um, and we should have the compost action that we're looking for. All right, one of the first stops that I made this morning with um, with JD and the wood chips that we got from chipdrop.com. Um, I made a good base of pine mulch or wood, wood shavings or whatever under this pile. It was, um, all of our compost was kind of on this one side. So I put a base of, of wood chips over here. I came in with the bucket of the tractor, turned this and flipped it a couple times. Um, this has already started to do really good and break down on, over here. The problem is it's not warm. So, which means it's not, it, it's not gonna break down any further if we don't add some, some kind of heat source, some kind of carbon and kind of keep the, um, keep the ratio of what we're adding to it um, consistent enough to where it'll keep working. So with that last flip, what I'm gonna do now is get one more bucket of shavings, drop it kind of just here in the middle. That way when we come over with um, any kind of food waste or uh, vegetable plant waste or anything like that, we can throw that in and then we can come over and just dump, dump the, um, the wood chips i got a shovel that stays out here there it is um just stays out here so we can do stuff um and we'll just dump that on top of it just to keep it working but i'm going now to get that one last bucket of pond shavings pond shavings wood mulch all right so i'm dealing with pond shavings that i put in the chicken coop and i got pond shavings and just random tree shavings up front or tree mulch Bear with me, I'm trying to figure it out. All right, I moved on to project number, let's see, chicken coop is done. Compost, project number three, the flooring in the chicken run. 
this is what I end up having to do. I can bring it here in the bucket. I'll take it in there with the wheelbarrow and kind of spread it out once I'm done. That's the plan I have now. I'll let you know how that works. But uh, out here still in the rain, getting it done. Um, I think that's what separates uh, the small successful homesteads and small farms that's out there. Um, those people that just won't be deterred. They won't be, won't be turned. Little weather didn't stop the show. But you got to be determined. You got to be um, committed to it. If not, all is for not. Let's get it done. All right, here I am, back at the chicken run. I'm already, this is my second or third um, tractor load full. So, I'm getting it down into the wheelbarrow. A little bit closer. Don't want y'all thinking that it just magically got done. But, it takes a little bit of work. We're not full into that. I've already taken uh, one wheelbarrow out of this bucket back here to the back. So now we pick it up, come on up top, turn this baby around. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Then dump it. Rinse and repeat. Then work with uh, the chicken manure, and then I end up making a little bit of compost right up under the right up under the chickens here. I might come in here one day for like a potting potting soil or something, and maybe get this might be some of our best soil. Never know. With us right now, just starting off into the homesteading journey. We on trial and error, as well as we look at a lot of videos to see kind of what we can learn from everybody else. So come with me. I'll show you. I've uh, so far spread it over there. Not super thick, but enough to where they can scratch in if they need to. As it's decomposing and stuff like that, hopefully that invites worms and stuff like that to keep saying stuff like that. That invites worms and other insects that chickens eat to come in here and try to make a home as well. And what they'll end up doing is making themselves be lunch. Let's see if we can grab this while holding the camera. Now let's turn this baby around. About right here. And we dump. Right now, see if I can set this up a little bit for you to get a different little angle. I don't know where to put you. Alright, you might have to hang out right off the ground. Nope, might be able to put you close to this chicken feed. There we go. So then what I do is take out a steel rake. And get out here and push some stuff around. Just like that. Not going for super thick, but I want to start a little ecosystem down here in the bed. Start a little ecosystem. That's all you're looking for. If I could bring in insects, it may cut down on how much the chickens are actually eating. If I have to cut down, they're currently eating grain and feed that I go to store purchase. But if I could get them self-feeding off of the land not only what, what ends up saving me spending money on them here is money that I can put in other projects and ways to cut down and just have everything on the farm everything on the homestead being self-sufficient that's what one of my goals are try to get as self-sufficient as possible can we feed ourselves can we um hydrate ourselves just things like that can we come up with some kind of way to have power out here how much power can we cut back on using all of those things don't be relied on the government. Don't be relying on people to take care of you. At least know how to take care of yourself. And that's what we're learning out here. How to take care of yourself. How did great grandma and great grandpa do it? And those that came before them. Well, they figured it out with what they had. All right, all right. Here we go. 
got it all mulched in. This piece of wood could actually get up out of here. But disgusting. Get out of here. There you go. All right, that piece of wood can get out of here. Feel this in a little bit. We got the wood chips in here. Brought these cinder blocks over instead of that piece of wood to um, raise their food up, hopefully neck level, head level, get it up out of the ground a little bit. But they should be good to go. Let's see what they think. Y'all coming out? Let it go. Let's see how they react. There we go. They already investigating, trying to figure out what's going on. I left this little mountain here. I don't know what kind of games chickens play. Maybe they'll play King of the Hill, knock the rooster off, capture the flag. I don't know what chickens do when we ain't looking. But, nah, I may end up, um, Spring that out a little bit later, but I did purposely leave that heel there in the middle just to see. <coughs> and as we see, they're already <coughs> excuse me, scratching and pecking. Nobody messing with you. There you go. Have at it. All right, y'all, that's it for the chicken coop and the chicken run this morning. Please like, comment, subscribe. Y'all come back now, you hear? We started off on rain. It was a rainy day when I started. The sun has come on out because it saw that there was at least one determined person to get things done today. I'll take it.